Hi and welcome, Libra Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your January 2019 tarot reading. It is a general reading, so trust your own intuition and guidance on what resonates with you. Leave what does not. If you want a personal reading more attuned to your own energy and circumstances and the questions you'd most like answered, reach out for a personal reading. Link is on this video and in the description box below. 2019 predictions are out now. My Vimeo channel for all star signs. It's a 45 minute extended reading. It's only $8.95. It covers everything you need to know in 2019. Career and finances, life purpose, your abundance mindset, love and romance, your general energies and some amazing crowning energies on how to live more authentically in 2019 with your flow. And uh, I'm also popping up a $20 discount coupon code uh, it's going to be valid until the end of January. You can apply it to the uh, two packages that I have that include an extended reading and distance Reiki energy healing session with me. If you want to kick off the new year and uh, remove some of those emotional blockages, anything holding you stuck, you want to revitalize yourself at uh, a chakra level, chi energy, cellular level, yeah, soul light, inner child, reach out for that, yeah. So coupon code is going to pop up here. On this video and in the description box below, all you need to do is take it across to the booking form, enter it when prompted, and you'll get your $20 off, yeah? Only valid to the end of January. Mm -hmm. All right, Libra, let's open up your reading with the Blue Angel Oracle, and let's see what you need to know in January 2019. Highest level of guidance, please, for Libra. Wow, I think this actually came out for one other sign. Uh, if you have a look at that, there's a big sword there. It says Pendragon Sword, Balanced Power. And it says Libra, the consecrated sword represents balance, power and wisdom, quality bestowed only to those who have earned them. This is a coming of age for you. Much can be accomplished now with relative ease, provided you remain balanced and grounded. You have bestowed the power of the dragon, the ruler, the king and the magician. This is a great honor and privilege, but has great responsibility as well. You can hold this power indefinitely, provided you honor it, respect it and use it wisely. And as a very brief affirmation, which says, every atom belonging to me is good belongs to you, Walt Whitman. Right, that's pretty awesome to open up your reading with. Okay, let's have a look at your general energies. First up with the goddess guidance. Let's see what you need to know, Libra. Highest level of guidance, please, for January 2019. Mm, wow. This is kind of cool right at the beginning of the year. A period of endings and beginnings, Carly, the old must be released to allow the new to enter into your life. Whatever aspect of your life that you need to let go of things, yeah, so you can move forward. Always speaks to transformation and when transformation comes, it often brings, even if it's challenging, great blessings with it and more joy. Uh, this one which flew out, by the way, is Maeve, cycles and rhythms. It's about listening to the energy levels in your body, taking time when you need to rest. It's also about listening to your emotions when you need to, uh, if you find yourself, your emotions rising or getting out of a little bit out of control or unbalanced, you need to get out in nature and go and balance and ground yourself. We're doing some quiet activities like yoga or meditation. We're just putting your feet up on the couch, yeah, with a cuppa, taking some time out. Or it might be a glass of wine. Yeah, thing is that, it's still the new year, right? Holiday time. All right, there's three here. Okay. You got the message to start delegating. Green Tara, you've been doing way too much. You've got to speak up, Libra, and ask for people to help you. I'm going to say directly speaks to your home life. Um, you've also got Aphrodite, inner goddess. Guys and girls, this relates to your passions, your divinity, self-care, self-nurturing, what lights you up, having more fun and adventure in your life. And uh, you've also pulled all interesting. Uh, Bridget, don't back down, stand up for yourself. Do what you know is right and what you believe in. Mm -hmm. We'll see what else comes out. Kind of pretends to people being a little bit fractious in your circle. Stand up for yourself, Libra. 
All right, let's have a look at the uh, crystal reading deck. What is it you need to know, Libra? Highest level guidance, please. In January, it's 2019. Thank you. Mm. For some of you, part of the uh, transformation, the endings and beginnings is the emotional healing that needs to happen. Awakening crystal, it's a master teacher card in this deck. The stuff you need to let go of, some of you, so you can move forward into 2019 with a, a clean slate. And I'm going to say to you, a clear heart. Mm -hmm. Right next to that. Wow. Double whammy. Malachite healing. Some of you need to do some heart healing. Yeah. Emotional healing. Just do that work so that you can shine in 2019, Libra. All right, there's three here. All right, you pull chrysotile, animals. Um, this can mean that you're a protector of animals. You intuitively understand animals. You've got a fur baby that's the soulmate that lights your world up. It can mean that your animal spirit guide is going to come to you shortly if they haven't already or show up for you. Uh, for me, it's the eagle. And you light me up joyfully. Mm. Okay, it's part of your Aphrodite energy, inner goddess. It's about accepting the shadow side of self, the signs of yourself you don't like that much. Yeah, it's about appreciating all parts of yourself, accepting yourself as beautiful, loving. Um, I mean, love yourself, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, appreciate your own divinity. Shadow side can also mean, when you've got this coming up, right, don't back down. Shadow side can also mean if your buttons are getting pressed by people, what's coming up for you in that moment? Often it's a it's a need to feel more appreciated, love, respected. Yeah, put boundaries in place with people, stand up for yourself. Um, that's the other side of that. But it's also a learning experience. Whatever coming up for you is a learning experience for you. And uh, you've pulled your two kite teacher, so it can mean that you're you are a teacher or you can teach people um, things. That can be any kind of wisdom, right? Um, but idea, mostly it's about your own inner wisdom, ancient wisdom. The key message is here is you're going to know within yourself what you need to stand up for yourself for. Um, yeah, because sit right underneath that. Okay, well, let's have a look at specific guidance with the uh, energy oracle. What is it Libra needs to know? All right, so two want to come out straight away. Mm. You full patience. Uh, this is a being patient, patient with yourself. I can say that with the transformation process you're going through, with the emotional healing that you need to do. Be kind to yourself. Yeah. And here's why you need to stand up for yourself. Storm warning. Um, I'm going to say this can be internal because it's directly related to healing. It might be healing relationships with other people. Um, it might be that your energy is going to be feeling a bit low and you need to take some time out because it's sitting under cycles and rhythm. Just know when storms pass, everything's uh, kind of fresh and new again, yeah? Revitalised. It kind of ushers out stuff that we need to let go of or confront. I was thinking about this the other day. Someone asked me, and I'll share it with you, right, in terms of putting boundaries in place with people. I was at a family function and somebody somebody was kind of like getting quite stressed with someone else in the family, yeah, but they asked me to go and talk to them and really afterwards I thought about it. Do you know what? That put me in a position with that other person that had to be spoken to to sort them out, right, um, in terms of what they were doing, their behaviour. It wasn't really my place. The healing journey was for that person that it was irritating for them to go and set a healthy boundary in place because all it did with me was made me look like I'm the big, like, you know, I've gone in and sorted the situation out when it really should have been the other person learning how to put boundaries in place and speaking up for themselves. So that was a learning lesson for me in itself. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> if they'd done it, it probably would have had more impact, yeah? All right. You've also got the message about yin and yang energy, yeah? It's directly related to start delegating, know that you're doing too much, know that you need help and to ask for help and to take some quiet rest for yourself, yeah. Mm. 
There's a lot here about your chi energy. Third chakra, Archangel Shamiel. You need to build up your chi energy, I'm going to say. Um, it's directly related to your Aphrodite energy, having more fun and adventure in your life. Mm. Uh, and be the thinking woman. Girls out there, directly related to what you need to stand up for in your life, directly related to your inner wisdom. Uh, this is stepping out of your emotions and working for more of your rational brain, your masculine energy. For guys, this might be the person <laughs> that you need to put or be boundaries in place with if they're in your world. Um, it can also mean, it can also mean for uh, either sex that this could be somebody that's uh, in your life that you can seek guidance from in terms of any turmoil and challenge going on in your life. Perhaps it's a friend or a, you know, a relative. Okay, let's pull you some uh, guidance from the Nature's Whispers deck, Libra. What is it you need to know? Highest level guidance, please. All right, let's read here. Mm. Absolutely. First one you pulled is new experiences and possibilities are going to come your way, directly related to endings and beginnings. When you let go of the past, there's all these opportunities come through to you. There's four here. Oh. I've got to say, this one's come out for quite a few signs. Let love be your beacon. Uh, this is leading with love and light, being compassionate with other people. Yeah. And step into your empowerment. Uh, I'm going to say you're going to really need to in January. Step into your empowerment. And make a wish. What is it you want to draw to your life? What is it that you want to manifest? Beautiful. Okay, let's pull your crowning energy from the Sacred Powers deck. What is it Libra needs to know? Highest level guidance, please. Ah, mm, beautiful. Have a look at this. I'll bring it close so you can see it. It is so gorgeous. Uh, soul journey. Kind of goes hand in hand with your transformation. And it says, Libra, this is a life lesson learned from this experience. From the moment you chose to return to Earth in this incarnation, you decided to be a conscious creator of your life's journey. Your story, as you have written it, is held within the records of the Akashic temples and can be accessed, viewed and experienced at any time. Organized like a library, the Akashic temple holds the records of each soul's journey energetically within the astral plane. Thoughts, feelings, actions, deeds, past lives, purpose and soul lessons are all recorded within this place. Acting as a spiritual database, every human process we experience is recorded. Events, births, deaths, marriages and other life events can be reflected upon at any time. Your individual record is protected by your guardians who ensure that permission is granted and safe access is available at your request. The integrity of the Akashic is never compromised as a result. Right now you're experiencing a life lesson. Whatever the outcome, know that this lesson is for a reason, even if you're unaware of it. It is important that you become mindful of your experiences, acknowledging decisions and actions that have led you to this moment. Ask yourself, what is it I need to learn from this situation? I'm going to say we're all responsible for how we co-create the life experiences that we have and experience, yeah? Um, I'll also say, right, and sometimes you go, but hang on, that's a bit unfair, like, you know, like for me, I got waxed by a car and totally totaled my car. Well, that was number four in the uh, lesson of me listening, not listening to the universe trying to slow me down, yeah? Often when we ignore the subtle signals that the, that the universe is trying to give us to wake up to something in our life, they send us a big one, yeah, that stops us in our tracks. So if you're experiencing that and you're going, well, hang on, that wasn't fair, uh, universe no doubt sent you some signals before that and you totally ignored them, yeah? Or you put the blinkers on and wished it would go away and you got hit with a bigger one. Mm -hmm. That's a life lesson in there. Ask yourself, what is it I need to learn from this situation? How am I affected by it? What can I do that will help me correct this negative course of action? How can I improve my soul's connection to my higher purpose? What can I do to support humanity? 
While you may be unable to see a way out of your circumstances right now, this will pass and you will soon be shown the reason for recent events. It is important to recognise the value of your experiences and resolve past issues and patterns from the experience of lessons learned. Co-create a beautiful life with new perspectives. The choice is up to you. Where do you want to go from here? Such a great question to ponder. And there's an affirmation here that says, through the light of God, I ask for my will to be recognised by the highest order, guiding me upon my life's journey. Wow, very profound Libra. If you enjoyed this reading, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you already have your rockin' awesome. And uh, don't forget to grab your $20 coupon code if you want to work with me in terms of getting a distance Reiki energy healing session and extended personal reading. Also go and check out your 2019 predictions that are up now on my Vimeo channel. And for now, much love, much light. Namaste.